You're never gonna let me down <laughs> And you're never gonna You're never gonna let me down Oh, you're never gonna You're never gonna let me down <laughs> And you're never gonna let You're never going to fill this room with God's goodness. It's already full, but we're just going to enter in. We're just going to lift the roof off. I just feel like there's just like, woo! <laughs>
true you're always true that word true was super strong in my spirit and um <clears throat> reminded me of this encounter I had a few years ago and um the Holy Spirit came on me and so strongly I felt this really simple thing and that is that um truth is not truth because we believe it feel it or affirm it truth is truth because it just is and we can't change the truth and I just feel really strongly, it says that he's always true. Jesus is the true one. And I just feel that there's a there's an invitation. I feel like there's people in here and you're like, but I don't believe it's true or I don't feel like it's true. Or I, and it's like, I just feel like Jesus is saying, bow the knee to me because I am true. And it doesn't matter what you think or what you feel, you can't change who is true. And Jesus is true. And, and the greatest thing that we can ever give our hearts is for someone to be bigger than us and higher than us, that we're not our own. Uh, we don't decide what's true, He does. And I just feel like there's people in here and you need to bow the knee to who is true and you will be free. And so I just feel that and I just wanted to release that. So Jesus, we just say that you're true and we thank you that everything you do is true and faithful. And so I declare the truth of Jesus. I declare he is true and everything must bow to he who is true. And so God, I ask in Jesus name for any heart who's afraid to surrender to the one who is true, I ask in Jesus' name that you would give them the grace to surrender in Jesus' name. There's no shadow 
because I, I really feel as we open the service, we brought our hearts before the Lord. We talked about not just delivering us from, but delivering us into. And there's something he's wanting to do, not just in the room, but those watching, a deliverance into the truth. Because if truth is the man, Jesus, that means what's true is good news. And in a time where there's a lot of bad information, there's a lot of wrong opinions, there's a lot of deceiving voices, it can get cluttered and confusing and our hearts can get weary. But the truth is good news. There is good news for us. There is good news in the midst of darkness. There is good news to be delivered into. And I feel, however subtle or extreme, the Spirit of God in all of our hearts is wanting to show us the truth of the good news in greater ways. <laughs> because the truth is good, because the truth is God, and God is good. And it's not a goodness that just ignores the wrong, ignores the injustice, ignores the suffering. No, it is a good that triumphs over it. It is a good that confronts it. It is a good that washes it. It is an aggressive good, a strong good. It is not a weak, placated, oh, that's nice. No, it is goodness, light, truth that confronts, pushes back, and shines in the midst of darkness. This is the truth. We are people of the truth. We belong to the truth. We stand in truth. In the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, we shine as light in the universe, holding out the word of life, the word of truth. So beloved, do you see? Do you see? Do you see what's true? Do you see what's good? Do you see the man in the midst of darkness? Do you see the truth? The faithful and true one, do you see his light, light, light shining in the midst of darkness? And the darkness has not, will not, cannot ever overcome it.
lift your hands up. Let's just rest. I will rest in your promise. My confidence. This is it. It's in your faithfulness. Oh, and I will rest. It's a surrender to your promise. It's my confidence. Oh, is your faithfulness. Sing that again. And I will rest in your promise. My confidence. Your faithfulness, so we will rest 